<laughs> for diesel is saying back in the day they just pop you off the rope they don't do that as much anymore but it's still something that referees will do so there see how he just kept pushing me if i had put my shin on one of his thighs like he showed me earlier he's showing how you can elbow over this depending on which leg they're putting up he pulls me and then as i'm collapsing forward i'm going to land into his elbow this is the other leg and he actually just grabs the back of my uh, calf and takes a step back and now he's basically like caught a kick that i didn't even throw <laughs> another option is just to kind of like push me off I like this one. I really like this. You just grab the back of the leg and take a step out. <laughs> what, could I, what could I do off of that? It's just like uncurling a pig's tail or something. So this is against the ropes, right? If someone's against the ropes and you do this and you grab their thigh and you go, or you grab their calf and you come backwards, you can just pull them off the rope. It makes them look very bad. It makes you look really good. He's showing that if you have answers to someone putting their, we call it the wall of China, if you have answers to that, it actually becomes like a really lame move. If you just like grind against them and don't do anything, it becomes like a really effective, really cool move. Oh. See how he just uses this leg? He'll come forward and then he'll kind of pull me back. And he's just getting me used to sticking to him regardless of where he's moving. So now this distance, I want to teep him, kind of juggle him, and then I can close that distance with a knee and grab him. <laughs> That's a nice turn. I had to learn how to follow and like attack off of it. You basically don't want to learn to be uninterrupted in anything that you do. You want someone interrupting you all the time. It's to be unperturbed by those interruptions. That's what you're learning. So, 